Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Did you guys know that August is National Olive Oil Month? I love olive oil, I use it in my kitchen every single day and for today's recipe, I've partnered with Pompeii and I'll be sharing one of my all-time favorite classic recipes, ratatouille. But not just any ratatouille, I'm gonna be making it a smoky and creamy version with smoked paprika cream and a bounty of summer vegetables. All these veggies are gonna be simmered in a tomato and red bell pepper sauce some Parmesan cheese, and it's just absolutely incredible. You guys are going to love this recipe. And I like to start this recipe off with the tomato and red bell pepper sauce. So I'm heating a large frying pan over medium heat, and I'm going to add Pompeii's robust extra virgin olive oil. This is perfect for pasta, marinades, dressings. I love that it has a nice full-bodied flavor, not too much acidity, but that nice spicy bitter kick to it. And once my olive oil is heated, I'm going to add in one large diced red bell pepper and one large diced onion. I'm going to toss this all together and then cook this over medium heat for about four to five minutes. You want the red bell pepper and the onion to be translucent, but not brown. And a few minutes later, I'll add in four minced garlic cloves. And time to add some smokiness and herbs. I have two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of French herbs, so there's thyme, rosemary, bay leaves, and a little bit of lavender in here, ground black pepper. Season this with a generous amount of salt. And I also like to add some fresh thyme to this dish. It is just so aromatic. It's gonna add a ton of flavor to the sauce. And then in goes a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes. And to balance out some of the acidity from the tomato sauce, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of sugar and a couple tablespoons of Pompeii organic balsamic vinegar. And this sauce already smells so good. I wish you guys could smell the aroma through your screens right now. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to let it simmer away on low heat for a few minutes. I'm going to chop up a few basil leaves and then add these in right before my sauce is done cooking. And the last ingredient to the sauce, half a cup of heavy cream. Pour that in, stir it in, and then take the sauce off the heat. And now moving on to the star ingredient of this dish, the vegetables. So I have this gorgeous bowl of veggies here filled with heirloom tomatoes. I have some yellow zucchini, green squash, and Chinese eggplant. And the secret to making a great ratatouille is slicing the vegetables as thinly as you can. You can use a sharp knife or you can use a madeleine slicer. And try your best to make sure that all the slices are the same thickness. That way they'll cook evenly in the oven. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love to post my everyday dishes in my Instagram stories. And that's one of the reasons I partnered with Pompeii is because they know that mealtime, it's not just about fueling up, but it's also about creating those trendy, beautiful, Instagram-worthy dishes that you could share with your family and friends. And this dish is definitely Instagram-worthy. And I find the easiest way to arrange the sliced vegetables is to create little stacks of them first. So place alternating layers of veggies into small little stacks on your cutting board. And then once you have those stacks all assembled, you can arrange them into the casserole dish. And for assembling the dish, you'll need a large casserole like this one. I'm going to grab the sauce that I prepared earlier and spoon it into the bottom of my casserole. You wanna place about three quarters of the sauce. We're gonna reserve just a little bit for the top. And then just start adding those veggies. You wanna pack them into the casserole tightly.
and I'll gently spoon on the rest of that sauce kind of in between the veggie slices. Around the side there. And now for my topping, I have some fresh thyme leaves here, and to that I'm going to add Pompeian Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Now if you're like me and you love your organic products, then you can rest assured that you have careful handling and production with this oil, and you still have that amazing, incredible flavor. And then just grab a pastry brush and brush that oil over the veggies. It's going to add so much incredible flavor, also going to give the veggies a nice golden brown color. And this ratatouille is ready to go into my oven. I have it preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to bake for one hour. I'm going to bake it with the foil for 50 minutes. Take that foil off, add some Parmesan cheese over the top, let it bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. And if you want, you can also place it under the broiler and let it broil for about five to seven minutes so the veggies are really nice and golden on top. And how good does this look? I took it out of the oven about 15 minutes ago, let it uh, cool for about 15, 20 minutes, and then dig in and enjoy. And the aroma of this dish is absolutely mind blowing. I could not wait to get my hands on this dish. I did let it cool down a little bit. Time to dig in and enjoy. Mmm. This ratatouille is so, so good. I love all those incredible nostalgic flavors. It's such a comforting dish, warming dish with the herbs and the olive oil and the sweet tomatoes. Absolutely incredible. I will be making this dish very often this fall. I haven't made it for a while and I came back to make this and I was like, I am missing out. This is so good. For the fall recipe, just head on down into the video description box. And for more recipes and tips on how to trend in the kitchen, visit instagram.com slash pompaine. You can also share your on-trend kitchen creations on Instagram by tagging your photo with hashtag trending in the kitchen. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time.